can you forgive me? Excuse me? I apologize. Yes, these are all different ways to say sorry, which is our theme today. Well, technically, we're going to examine why we use the word sorry, not the reasons why we should apologize. That, I think, should be fairly obvious. Yes, you. You know what you did. Now, go right away and say sorry, right now. To be clear, we're going to look at the etymology of the word sorry, or rather its origin. Hello, I'm Alex, and this is The English in Ear, where we look at what people say and why they say it. Saying sorry can cover a multitude of misfortunes and accidents. Anything from, sorry for the delay, sir, your food will be with you shortly, to, oops, I just pressed that red button that says global destruction, sorry. Some cultures, those that are considered the more polite ones, such as England, Canada and Japan, to name but a few, are well known for apologising more often than most. If someone else bumps into them, they say sorry. If someone spills boiling hot coffee down their white shirt, they say sorry. If they're in the bank while it's being robbed, they apologise to the robbers. OK, perhaps this last one is a bit of an exaggeration. So where does the word sorry come from? Well, it's related to the word sore, meaning painful. You know, like when you have a sore throat because you are screaming at your partner who has lipstick on his collar. Or when you have been riding a bike for miles and miles and your butt feels sore at the end of the day. A sight for sore eyes refers to something that you are happy or relieved to see, like an ice cold drink on a boiling hot day. Or after three days trapped in the cave, the light from the flashlight was a sight for sore eyes. A sore loser is one who gets angry when they lose and treats their opponent badly. No American presidential candidate comes to mind. So when you say, sorry, I can't work for you this Sunday, you're really saying that it causes you pain to tell them. Obviously, this is being used in a polite way. A recent internet expression is sorry, not sorry. It's basically used to say that you don't really feel guilty about an action or a comment that you made. You crashed into my car on purpose. What the hell did you do that for? Sorry, not sorry. You slept with my fiance on my wedding day. Dad, we often hear sorry about that. This is usually a somewhat casual and insincere apology. Hey, you ate the yogurt in the fridge that had my name on it. Yeah, sorry about that. I thought it was mine. Sorry is also used to describe something pathetic or pitiful. I saw Boris drunk lying on the floor the other day. What a sorry sight. Or, really? Your dog ate your homework? That is a sorry excuse. We feel sorry for someone or something when we pity or sympathise with them. This can sometimes be a little bit confusing. My aunt died the other day. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why? Did you kill her? No, I just meant that I feel sympathy for you. You'll be sorry is an expression or a threat, meaning that the person will regret what they did or said. For example, if you drink that cheap vodka, you'll be sorry in the morning. Or you'd better pay back what you owe or you'll be sorry. Better safe than sorry. It it's always a good idea to take some precautions before doing something that may involve a bit of risk. So we might use the expression better safe than sorry to remind people of that. OK, everyone, put your seatbelts on. It's better to be safe than sorry. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video or even more importantly, learned something from it. 
Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.